So when I'm drawing a character, I like to um, start with a simple shape. And with VJ, the top part of his head is pretty much a circle. And then, let's see. So just loosely sketch this in, and then I'll fix things later. I don't worry about it being perfect. So I think that's pretty close. This is going to be his um, chin. So now I'm going to start with dot eyes. I think you can have a lot of life in a character you draw just with simple dot eyes. And I try to get them basically symmetrical, but I'm drawing them in fairly lightly because I might fix them later. Now the beast, he has a cute little nose like this. Again, um, I think you can draw a nose pretty simply and give it a lot of personality. I'm going to give him kind of a crooked smile because he is a mischievous little kid. When I'm drawing uh, characters in Cardboard Kingdom, even though their eyes are fairly simple, I often draw the tops of their cheeks because when someone is smirking or something or squinting, they um, their cheeks come up like that. But if someone is like shocked and their eyes are wide open, then their cheeks won't be up so high. I am going to give VJ some mischievous eyebrows. These eyebrows are supposed to show that he's kind of um, scheming or maybe planning an, an attack as the beast. I'm just making all kinds of little adjustments as everything kind of comes together. I'm gonna fix this smile just a little bit. Give a slight suggestion of his lower lip, but nothing too much. I'm gonna adjust his head a little bit. The thing I like about pencil is that you can draw lots of lines with it until you find the right one, right? And I'm not really gonna worry about erasing today. So I think that's most of BJ's face. From this angle, his ears will mostly look just like little half circles. And then when I figure out where his hair will go, I like to figure out where his hairline is. And for more or less, I think it'll be about here. And he has this swooping hair where it's parted on the side. So this is about where his hair will go. And again, I'm working pretty lightly. Now I'm gonna work on his cool box cardboard helmet. Um, I hope I left enough room for me. <laughs> so this sort of thing is tricky because whenever you draw a character wearing something, um, it's probably easiest to draw the person and then what they're wearing second. So I've drawn him, and I'm going to try drawing the front shape of his helmet. And maybe just for reference, I'll keep it here. Do, 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 do. OK, does that work? Maybe I'll go over here. Yay, can you see both? OK, hopefully. So you can see that he has three big teeth in his little helmet. And those are basically just triangles with kind of a box flat line top. So I'll draw those in a little bit harder. And then you'll see his little face it might be hard to see on this video, but he has a little upturned nose here and then some little angry eyes. And then down here, it's those same three triangles. And they might overlap his face a little bit. And now let's see, I'm gonna figure out exactly how that lower part comes down. Here will be his neck 
and his sha- his um, jaw casts a shadow on his neck, and things are just generally darker inside. Now, you can see that his helmet would normally go back, but it's going back like this. So instead, I'm going to draw some little ears, and I barely have room on my page for them. I didn't leave quite enough room. So I think that's pretty much it for his face. I'm going to just quickly sketch in his hair since he has dark hair. And you can see that I could go in and erase all these lines that I don't need anymore. But I think that this is good enough for you to see how I do most of the drawing. And then everything rest, everything left would mostly just be me cleaning stuff up. But hopefully you learned something from seeing the beast. I drew this all with an, a Prismacolor ebony pencil. It's just a nice soft pencil that I like to use for sketching, especially for Cardboard Kingdom characters. And um, hopefully, if you haven't already read The Cardboard Kingdom, you'll give it a try. You'll meet VJ and many, many, many more characters in it. Thanks for watching.